Bahraini state television announces that 21 anti-government activists are being put on trial for crimes including collaborating with terrorist groups and trying to overthrow the government. 14 people on the list are already in prison. Others are apparently being pursued by Interpol, a claim that they have not yet confirmed. Among those on the wanted list are human rights campaigner Abbas al-Omran and opposition leader Saeed Shahabi. Neither is surprised at their inclusion in what they consider to be a show trial. And I was not aware of any trial or uh, any interrogation about a specific case. I know they have, that they have been arresting many people and especially the uh, prominent figures in the revolution. It, it is a propaganda, it is politically driven. The Bahrain would like to get away from, f f from what they involved and the crimes that have been done by the, uh, the, the, the regime police. This action comes as a group of Bahrainis travelled to the International Criminal Court in The Hague to serve an indictment against the Bahraini royal family for war crimes. The ICC has agreed to look at the case immediately and agreed that Bahrain has broken international law. The call for anti-government campaigners and human rights activists in the UK to be arrested is being seen as an attempt by the Bahraini government to exert their force overseas. The reality is harsher for those in Bahrain who have been locked up and are now standing trial. The Minister for Justice in Bahrain has reportedly said that under current martial law, all suspects would be treated fairly. But the Human Rights Watch organisation said that it had received credible reports that at least one of the defendants has been beaten. The country's human rights record makes it unlikely that they'll abide by international laws on the treatment of prisoners. I think they have failed in convincing the world, in presenting a case to the world, that they, uh, they are right, or they were right in crushing uh, the people, in killing people under torture. As for the UK dissidents on the wanted list, they don't believe that this trial will stop further uprisings. All of these uh, uh, actions uh, could, couldn't stop the people uh, from demanding or come to the street for calling for, the, for their rights. Steve McCall, Press TV, London. Okay, thank you very much.